the first topic in data interpretation will be tables before we go into any tables or any pie chart or any line graph or anything like a bar graph okay let's just talk about addition first now how would you add now what kind of data you have in data interpretation first of all table is basically just data given to you in a table like this you'll have rows you'll have columns and you'll have data inside it simple as that yeah any table can be converted to a pie chart a pie chart can be converted to a line graph etc etc very simple okay but before we go to tables let's talk about very beautiful concept called addition how would you add now what kind of data do you have in data interpretation sets is very peculiar okay and that is the reason addition becomes very important in those 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 things okay for example let's say data set given to you is this way 32 48 63 78 82 77 you want to add these numbers okay now adding these numbers is very easy okay do not add it the way you added in school because in school anyway do not learn much so you are adding like you know writing in a column and then adding everything up right don't do it that way always try to connect numbers for example 2 and 8 at the end will give me a 10 3 and 7 at the end will give me a 10 2 and 8 at the end will give me a 10 if i merge these two 7 and 8 is the first place what is 7 plus 8 15 plus 1 16 if i merge these two 7 and 6 is the first place what is 6 plus 7 13 13 plus 1 14 If I merge these two, three and four is the first place. What is three plus four? Seven. Seven plus one, eight. Now I have eight plus sixteen plus fourteen. Sixteen and fourteen is thirty. Thirty and eight is thirty-eight. Three eight zero is the answer. This is the addition of all these numbers. Okay. So I'll repeat this. When I merge anything up, for example, when I merge seventy-eight and eighty-two up, I know seventy-eight and eighty-two will give me a zero because of eight and two. So I don't worry about the units place. But when they give me a zero, they also carry one ahead. That's why I'll add the first two numbers and increase by one, sixteen. Are we clear with this? Yeah. So always when you add, keep in mind you always go for these kind of observations. Okay. Where you can merge numbers and get the answer sorted much faster than what you would have otherwise, uh, than, than the time that you've taken otherwise. Okay. For example, let's take one more set just for practice. Let's say I have thirty-three, I have sixty-eight, I have seventy-five, I have eighty-four, I have Seventy-two, and I have eighty-seven. Okay, let's see what all we can merge. And let's say I have one more number, forty-six. Let's see what all can we merge. What all can you merge? You can merge eighty-seven, thirty-three, three and seven at the back. So eight and three is how much? Eleven will become twelve plus. You can merge forty-six and eighty-four. Eight and four is how much at the top at the, at the start? Twelve, thirteen. You can merge these two, eight and two at the back. Fourteen. Okay, and seven will keep as it is. Okay, now understand. First, let's add these three. This three addition, addition of these three is again very simple. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, thirty-nine. Plus seven, forty-six, and a five because of seven, which has a five at the back. Four sixty-five. Are we clear? This is how we add. Okay. Yeah. Let's say how do you add this? Seventy-eight, eighty-eight, ninety-eight. 68 42 32 okay how do you add these now since a lot of them have an 8 just ignore the 8 for a while we'll we'll talk about 8 later let's let's ignore it for a bit okay we'll talk about 8 later 7 plus 8 plus 6 plus 7 i mean 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 6 hmm? 6 plus 7 13 13 plus 8 20, 21 21 plus 9 30 Okay, 30 and 7, 37, 37 and 7, 44. I just added the first place of every number. Okay, how many eights did we have? Four. We have two twos for it. So two eights and two twos will go away, but they'll give a two to this guy because they'll carry one each. And this eight and this eight is left will give you 16. We'll carry a one again and have a six at the back. So 44 plus two plus one is 47, and that's the answer for 76. Are you clear? And that's how you add. Okay, just just the way. I mean, you can merge whatever way you want to. You can start with the merging these two, then merge these two, and then later on add these three. Fine, completely your choice. Okay, I just showed you the way in which I would do it. Okay, you can do it the way you want. Okay. Yeah, sure. So that's what I'm saying. What I did was in this case, eight 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 has been removed. I had all the first places, and then I just took care of. Two eights and two twos will give me a two extra. Yeah, 
these two eights will give me 16, which is one extra and a six at the back. Done. Okay, add the rest and that's the answer. Let's take one more example just for your practice. 76, 64, 66, 56, 72, 80 and 76. It's going to add these numbers. How do you, what do you, what do you merge? There's a smarter way out here. A further smart way would be merging these three. 666 six, six gives you 8 at the back and a 2 gives you a 10. So I've merged these four together. I have front 7, 7 plus 5, 12, 12 plus 6, 18, 18 plus 7, 25, 25. Because of these three sixes and a 2, I got 2 extra. So I'll become 27. Okay. I got 25 but because of those 6 is 18 and 2, I will get 2 extra, I will become 27. 64 and 76 can be merged. 7 and 6 is how much? 13, 13 plus 1, 14, so plus 14 and plus 8 for the 80. What is 27 plus 14? 41, 41 plus 8 is 49, that's the answer, 490. Okay, so in this case, I merged 4 numbers and not 2 numbers. Okay, so make sure in data interpretation, you take care of this thing very like be very, be very aware of these numbers, okay? Be, be, be a little more open, okay? That may not just start adding. When you see your question, don't just let's start adding adding things up, okay? There will be numbers like this that can be merged anytime to get an addition done, okay? And addition is pretty important in these kind of data interpretation sets, okay? Tables, addition will become the most important thing, alright? Let's look at one more example just for your practice again. Let's say I have 64, you give me numbers now. 64, next number, 48, next number. 37, next number, 73, next number, huh? 33, next number, 19, next number, 99, next number, 8, next number, 76, okay, chalo, let's add. Now, can you merge things out here? <laughs> Are you able to merge anything out here? I can merge these two, 7, 3 and 3, 7. Okay, I get an 11. Okay, what else can I merge? 64 and 76. I get a 14. Plus, what else can I merge? It's okay, it's not hard and fast, okay? Not necessary, you should merge all the time. You can just add like, like that later, don't worry. But I can merge these three. 3 and 9 gives me 2. 2 and 8 gives me 0. But instead of this 8, I'll use 48. I'm leaving off the bigger numbers first, okay? So, 3, 9, 8. 392, sorry, 3 and 8 are 22. Okay, so 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 1 is 8, 8 and 2 is 10, so I get 10 plus. So I've merged these three. What am I left with? 8 and 99 only. Okay, 8 and 99 gives you how much? 10 again and 7 extra. So rest all is 0 except for 1, 7 that you have at the back. 10, 10, 20, 20 and 25 is 45, so the answer is 459. Sorry, 457 because 7 was remaining in the back. And that's how you add. So I'll repeat the process if you want to. 73 and 37 I merged, I got 11 first. Then I merged 60, 64 and 76, these two numbers. 64 out here and 76 out here. I got a 14. Then what did I do? I played a little smart. I said 3, 3, 3 and 9 is 2 and 2 and 8 is 10. I could have taken 99 also, I forgot. It's okay. Your convenience, whatever you choose, okay? So, 3 and 9 is 12, 2. 2 and 8 gives you 20, so 2 is extra. So, 3 plus 1, 4, front, adding the front part. 3 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 4, 8. But 2 extra, that's why it gives you a 10. And I was left with 99 and 8 only. That is 107, so a 10 and a 7 at the back. Added all these, you get 45, 7 at the back, 457. Are we absolutely clear of this? Let's look at a set then. Let's look at a question on data interpretation table.